This is the Haldex trailer air brake system. It's a single air valve platform combined with anti-lock brake electronics. The bottom portion of the valve controls the spring parking brakes, the emergency brakes, and is also responsible for filling and protecting the air tank. This bottom portion also houses a device for protecting the emergency supply line from a service brake system failure. The service brake control or relay valve is located here. The anti-lock solenoids used to cycle the brakes during an anti-lock event are located at the top of the valve. The electronic control unit or ECU is bracketed to the top and is responsible for sensing and preventing wheel lockup. The industry standard power connector is molded into the ECU as well as two wheel end sensor connections. Now let's take a look at what's inside the valve. There are four one-way check valves, a relay valve for the service brakes, a quick release valve for the spring parking brakes, and a pressure protection valve that protects the supply emergency line in the event of a service system failure. I have placed a box around these components to represent the valve itself. Now let's take a look at how the valve works. Air from the tractor unit travels down the emergency supply line and enters the valve at the supply port. The air runs up against a pressure protection valve, which is rated at 70 psi. The air will not travel through the pressure protection valve until it exceeds the 70 psi. The air is teed off to two one-way check valves, which stop the air from going any further. Now, so far, the air has no effect on the trailer's air supply tank, parking, or service brakes. Once the air in the supply line exceeds 70 psi, it is allowed to travel through the pressure protection valve, through the two lower one-way check valves, into and out of a quick release valve. The air exits the full function valve via the spring brake delivery ports. The spring brakes begin to release at the same time and same proportion as the air supply tank fills. This prevents parking brake release without adequate air supply in the tank for service brake actuation. This is known as a service brake priority system. Now that the parking brakes are released and the air supply tank is filled, a service brake application can be made. Let's see it how it works. Air from the tractor's foot pedal is routed through the trailer's blue service control line. It enters the full function valve service control port and enters the relay portion of the valve. It is also teed to one of the one-way check valves, but is stopped because of supply line pressures on the other side. This control line air opens the relay valve and allows modulated air from the trailer supply tank to be routed out of the full function valve service delivery ports to the service brake chambers and applying the service brakes. When the brake pedal is released, air in the service control line is exhausted out the bottom of the foot pedal. With no air in the full function valve's relay section to hold it open, service brake chamber air is allowed to escape to atmosphere through the full function valve's exhaust port. The service brakes are released and if needed, the tank can recharge through the supply line. Parking the trailer is accomplished by actuating the park control valve in the cab of the tractor. This allows the supply line to exhaust out the tractor protection valve on the tractor. As the supply line empties, air on top of the quick release valve inside the full function valve is allowed to empty through a one-way check valve. As air is released off the top of the quick release valve, the air in the spring brake chambers is being exhausted out the bottom of the quick release valve. The tank is protected and remains full due to this one-way check valve. Some older tractors don't have a control line exhaust built into their tractor protection valves, so it is possible to trap air in the service control line during parking. This means the parking spring brakes and the service brakes would be applying forces to the foundation brakes at the same time. This is referred to as compounding the brakes. 
This one-way check valve prevents this by allowing any air that may be trapped in the service control line to be exhausted out along with the emergency supply line. The Haldex full function valve comes in two versions, a service brake priority or a spring brake priority. By removing this check valve, we can turn a service brake priority type into a spring brake priority. A spring brake priority valve allows the supply line air to fill and release the parking spring brakes before filling the air supply tank. 